All right, let's let's uh, move out a little bit and have some fun. Talk to a company that has a good read on the consumer and the economy. And that is Winnebago. They are holding their investor day today, and they're also making a push into electric RVs, recreational vehicles. Winnebago, of course, you know, they're a motorhome manufacturer. They got Newmar. They got Chris Craft. Recently reporting better than expected quarterly numbers. But did see slowing sales in one key segment. Shares of Winnebago down about 20 percent so far this year, but up about 8 percent over the past month as well. Here in a first on CNBC interview is Michael Happy. He's the CEO of Winnebago. And Michael, listen, uh, as a boater, as somebody who used to own a motorhome, I get your products. I got it. They're fun. But they're also mostly discretionary. And some of them can be quite expensive. How are you seeing the U.S. consumer right now? Well, we're certainly seeing a normalization of demand after two record years of retail as consumers flock to the outdoors. And there's no doubt that the macroeconomic uh, headwinds and certainly some softening consumer sentiment uh, with recent conditions is uh, beginning to have an impact on on some of the sales on, on our side. But uh, we still continue to see uh, consumers engaged in the outdoors and and, uh, you know, waiting to, to make that investment in the future. Yeah, because if, if I'm going for like a 40-foot custom Newmar, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking uh, the price of a house in, in many towns. How does the financing market impact your business? You know, we, we see the uh, retail financing side of our business right now uh, in terms of consumer demand being relatively stable. The, the consumer credit scores are, are solid uh, and the retail uh, finance companies are, are still lending. Uh, we have a product range uh, from a $25,000 travel trailer to a, a $1.7 million motorhome. And we also have two boat brands for people that want to get out on the water. So the, the breadth and diversity of our product line really helps us during these these tricky times. Michael, just to dig into what you said about uh, kind of this, this return to pre-pandemic normal, um, what are the signs that you see suggesting that it's pre-pandemic normal? And what would you be looking for to suggest that we were actually, that it was signaling an economic slowdown? What's the difference between those two, uh, I guess, metrics from your standpoint where the consumer is concerned? Well, I would say in terms of, of net consumer participation in the outdoors, uh, the new normal is higher than pre-pandemic. Okay. Uh, now, economic conditions in our industries are turning, uh, you know, towards uh, what they were before COVID, uh, sand some changes in things like gas prices and interest rates, which are not uh, immaterial, uh, things we, we track closely. But, uh, you know, our company really tries to innovate and, br- and draw new customers uh, into the outdoors as, as best we can. And we are seeing that. We're seeing uh, a diversity of a first-time buyer uh, that is just younger, uh, more diverse uh, than we've ever seen before, which I think bodes well from a secular demand standpoint down the road. Well, that seems like uh, the right segue to ask you about this electric RV. Um, what is it? What are some of the details around it? Uh, how quickly will it make its way out to the marketplace? And what does that price point look like versus the more traditional gasoline-powered? Yeah, we introduced our first concept version of this ERV back in January of 2022. And we've really spent uh, the rest of this calendar year continuing to develop the product. We're we're putting the product now in the hands of some of our consumers who we trust most to give us some feedback during the rest of the development process. And we'll have some new news in January of 23 about specific timing in terms of a, of a launch. Uh, you will see the price of the ERV be uh, a little bit more expensive than a traditional uh, ICE version. Uh, But the great benefit of these products is the ability to uh, live off the grid uh, without a power source and enjoy the outdoors, be closer to that biking trail, uh, that hiking trail, uh, and still feel good about uh, your impact uh, on the outdoors. Michael, next time we're going to do this interview, it's going to be on like a a 35-foot launch GT. Can we make that happen? Oh, that would be amazing. I love it. (laughs) You, you know your products. That's a great uh, Chris Craft boat, and, uh, and we'll absolutely make that happen. Chris Craft, legendary, legendary brand. Michael, appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much.